What's the difference between a $2,000 pergola from Costco and a $30,000 pergola? Let's talk about it. Hi, we're the Luxury Pergola. My name is Harrison. We sell that one, the big pergola. Now we don't technically sell that for 30,000, although these typically retail for about 30. We sell that unit as a kit for someone to install themselves from anywhere between eight to $15,000. And still, what's the price discrepancy? Why is that typically about 30 grand while this is only about two? And there are three main things that differentiate these pergolas. Those are strength, aesthetics, and function. Now, the biggest one there is strength. The difference between this pergola right here is the fact that this can only handle about 62 mile an hour wind loads. And that, in, even in Indiana, especially with corn and bean fields, mean that it doesn't handle much. When it's over those wind loads, you're actually supposed to take the louvers out of the pergola. And that adds, obviously, a hassle factor to it. While our pergola here can handle 8,000 pounds of snow and 115 mile an hour winds, at the same time. So they're very different beasts. You can see our comparisons here of the louvers, one next to the other. You can also see the gutters and beam systems. The big thing to know here is that the gutter on these pergolas that you buy for $1,500 are really narrow. So they're really not gonna handle a whole lot, if any, water. So I don't know if you could imagine them as a watertight system. I don't know how they market it, but it sounds a little difficult to imagine that actually handling rain on top of this thing as well as obviously the posts. There's a difference in thickness, and that's obviously where a lot of the strength is derived. It's both in the extrusion itself for each of the posts, as well as how they're mounted. While theirs has just a plate on the bottom that you screw in and then bolt down to the concrete, ours isn't just a plate. Ours is an 18 inch tall stainless steel post base. This is one of our bases. So it is obviously already pre-built for drainage at the bottom, that's what the notch is, and it's pretty heavy. This thing itself weighs about 30 pounds. And once this gets anchored down into the concrete, you know that the pergola isn't going anywhere. One of the other things is gonna be aesthetics. Now obviously there's different looks to the two different pergolas. Anywhere where you can shave cost, and that's in thickness as well as in height or proportion, the more you can save money. And so a pergola like this is gonna be less expensive because everything's downsized. It's, it's smaller, obviously. So this unit here is a 10 by 13. The unit over the top of it is actually a nine foot six inch by 18 pergola. Now you can tell right away that ours is taller. We like to sell this standard height of nine feet from the the base all the way to the bottom of the beams. The beams themselves are 10 inches and then the louvers rotate a bit higher than that. So you get about 10 feet, two inches total height on this. Whereas this pergola here is obviously much smaller. The other thing that's different in the aesthetics is some of the different options. The luxury pergola that's above me actually has no trim on it, but we do also sell two other trim packages for the top. That's the contemporary crown and the traditional crown. At the base to hide the flange of the stainless steel post base, we sell a base trim, which looks like this. A lot of people tend to go for that because it hides the overall stainless steel post. A lot of people go for the top trim also because it hides the motor that's up there. The last thing that differentiates these is functionality, how you use it. Obviously with the Costco pergola, it's a manual system. And so that means you're gonna be cranking it. You only get 90 degrees of rotation on the actual unit itself, but if you're looking for something where you don't worry about wind or strength or how long you have it, and you just want something that covers your area and you don't care too much about what it looks like, I can understand why someone would buy something like this. While theirs makes noise when the whole thing opens and closes, ours is quite quiet. So the unit itself is fully motorized. I just use a remote like this and it closes the whole system. And then the other thing that's different is from a drainage standpoint and a functionality standpoint, when ours closes, you can hear, I don't know if you can hear through my microphone, but our pile weather strip that's on each of those louvers smashing down on the louver next to it. And that's to make sure that no water gets inside. All of it drains out to the gutters and then down through a post. So the function of the two is obviously different for that reason. Now, whether or not it's worth the upgrade from 2000 to closer to eight to 10 to 11,000 is up to you. But people ask us a lot what differentiates them and actually seeing them side by side or one over the other, I think helps explain what the differences are between one to the other. Obviously it's in the key name. Ours is the luxury pergola. That means it's gonna be a little bit more luxurious. And while this on commercial applications is twice the price we sell it as a kit, by installing it yourself, you save a lot of money. And that was kind of the idea of our family when we created it. Either way, any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Do me a favor and subscribe. I wanna share more information about products like this. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.